Morgan, I have a, a question for you, sir. Yes, sir. You know the you know the situation of your home state, bro. I mean, it's 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 the uh, depressed, uh, highest overdoses of uh, of of everything, uh, heroin, coal mining industry. There's a lot of depressed, discouraged young people here. Yeah. What what suggestions would you give for those in this kind of a market that are trying to make their creative or entrepreneurial mark? Yeah. I mean, I think the biggest thing right now is people, and I say this about anything, and whether it's you know storytelling, making movies, or starting a uh, starting a new business, is that you you can't be afraid to take risks. And I think that I we we come from a state, and we grew up in a I grew up in a state where you know it is it is very rooted in being risk averse. I think that um, you like to do what works. We want to stick with what works. You know, whether it be the coal industry or whether it be something else. The idea of trying to you know overturn the apple cart is scary a lot of times. And I think what happens needs to happen right now is there needs to be some real investment, some real invention, some real dedication on bringing new businesses to the state, new opportunities to the state, um, because this is a state full of people who are passionate, who are hard workers, that I feel like would give 110% to whatever that is, but people are just... Uh, you know, whether it be unwilling to come there or people who live there leave to well, go somewhere else, problem, much like right? I did. Like I mean, keeping, that's a, all the tech the, talent goes to San Francisco. All li- the Hollywood all talent goes to LA or, yeah. you know, New, I mean, York, was, New York gets everything. There was this thing that happened a few years ago where I believe it was when Manchin, who's now the senator, was the governor. And it was like they changed the slogan to West Virginia open for business. And it was like this uh, this slogan that I found to be, you know, such kind of a, a, a catch-22 because they wanted to bring new business there, yet the ability or potential or I guess the the flavor or desire to invest in new businesses was so small, well, that's it was the, really that's frustrating. The, listen, Mel, I think the one thing that everybody has to understand is you can trick entrepreneurs. That's right. Like, if I knew that I could open an office in West Virginia, in Morgansville, right now. That's right. And I could get a building for free, and it's tax free for five years. Vader Media is opening up, and I'm going to recruit everybody from WVU. That's right. Like tomorrow, it's just math. Yeah, and it's and it's a question of how much will the state kind pay. of uh, will will pay or open their doors to have these businesses when, come in. When these states stop spending money on dumb shit, yeah, that are inside baseball and servicing other random stuff, and yeah. realize that look, this has now been proven over the course of time. Humans are financially driven animals yeah. in a lot of ways. They're artistic as well. They're other things. That's right. But you know what I love about salespeople? They're trickable. Yeah. I'm very trickable. If the if Omaha, Nebraska, or Toronto, or or you know any place, Dayton, tur- Dayton Ohio, Budapest, <laughs> yeah. anywhere, yeah. If somebody wants me, I'm open for business. Like right. Cancun can email me right now and say, "Look, <laughs> we've got ten million dollars for you," and that's what you actually are supposed to do. I actually think of it like athletes. Yeah. Like the Cavaliers suck until they get LeBron. Yeah. Like. The Bulls and Lakers suck right now. You know why? There's no Kobe or Michael Jordan walking through those doors. Yeah. If you want to build up the economy, trick the economic leader, entrepreneurs. I mean, you could be, look, if they pour $25 million into studios and talent, well, this and is, ta- like they could trick you to move. But, but you're this, happy you, in Brooklyn, you just, but you're, you'll you're, move. You're summing up uh, my next point of what I was going to say. This just happened as a storyteller and a filmmaker who's gone back and shot in West Virginia on at least six or seven projects I've gone back home to shoot. They've now eliminated the film office in West Virginia. They've cut it out of the budget. They've cut out the tax incentive for the state. So now, why are people like me or storytellers? There's no incentive now to come back. And you can and only pay back so much. And right? they're going to con- and they're and they're continuing to cut um, kind of this type of economic influence in the state, not just from filmmaking, but just from new business startups. So I would answer something more practical for your question, Mel. There's obviously the state. So the answer is the state has to get involved. The state has like, to get involved. Period. Like that's 100%. your answer. Just so you know. Yeah. Now the second thing of what you can do is groom extremely young talent. That's right. The one thing a human can do is focus on junior high and high school and create mentorship and like little hacks. Like the reason I created the 2017 Flip Challenge is like I want to inspire people like that didn't have as many dollars to start or as many opportunities to start. Like you've got to hack at a lower level. You're not going to start, you're not sending Morgan a heartfelt email that's going to make him pick up his family from Brooklyn and move. That's right. 
So you've gotta start with Morgan, 13 years old, who's like, oh shit, I can make something or I can do a thing, like email, you can email YouTube and Vimeo and other, like there's a lot, just pure effort of hacking, but it's reverse engineering selfishness. Yeah, and that's the thing is like, I go back and, and you know, I get approached all the time to th- do things back home, but I think in terms of entrepreneurship and building businesses, they have to incentivize they have to. people to come start. I mean look, there's nonprofit, and that's sure. why you've done it, right? There's yeah. nonprofit. I do a lot of things out of the goodness of my heart. I just think that the way to trick me is through the business and the game, not through, you gotta trick through the, the head and the brain, not just the heart. The heart is able, Morgan's gonna do a shitload for West Virginia when he's 80 and he's got it out of his system. <laughs> like, you have to understand that's real. That's, it's real. It's easier at different parts in your life when you're yeah. still gunning. Like, you know, it's, you, you give and plenty of people give while they're gunning, but it's just a lot easier to give give yeah. when you're not gunning. Yeah. And I think that's super important. That's why, that's why people teach. That's why she's gonna teach this year. She's 74, she's yeah. done gunning. She, like, and so I think, I think that's something, you, you, got, you gotta be very practical, my man. Understood? Sure. Hey, Gary Vee, thank you so much. You're welcome. Hey, I bought, your, I bought Crush It at a bookstore that no longer exists when it came out here in West Virginia. Been a follower ever since, man. Thanks for the inspiration. You, you got it, brother. Life, Thank you, brother. Thank you so much. Thanks, Val. Man, he really drilled it at the end, right? He was like, bought it from a bookstore that doesn't exist anymore. Put a real dagger through. <laughs> <laughs>